All right, so I'm doing something a little different today. Um, uh, my uh, brother actually um, started a nonprofit this past year that I wanted to take a few minutes to talk about. Um, and uh, it's called um, Bring Smiles to Forgotten Seniors. And um, I'll put a link to this um, uh, down below in the description so you can find uh, the Facebook page and, and kind of, if you're interested, you can check out what he's up to there. Um, but last uh, year, our grandmother died. Um, she was 95. She lived a really great life. So um, we more, you know, celebrated her life more than mourned her death. And um, the last few years of her life, she actually spent in a nursing home. And when um, we would go there, unfortunately, you know, we got the opportunity to go there a number of times. Um, we would notice that on other uh, people's bulletin boards, they were just blank. There was nothing there. And then, you know, my mom, bless her heart, made sure that for every season change, for, you know, every major event and stuff, she was always in there changing out the bulletin board, putting lots of pictures up and um, stuff like that. But you know, for most of the people, um, it's just not the case. So they're there alone and uh, a blank bulletin board to my brother was just completely unacceptable. So he started this thing and what they do is um, they take uh, cards um, that people donate and uh, school children in most cases um, end up filling them out and writing notes and things inside the cards and then they deliver those to um, nursing homes and this kind of started in the Tampa area but it's starting to really branch out and so um, as an artist one way I can contribute is I can make some uh, just real simple um, custom watercolor uh, cards and uh, picked up some envelopes at those and uh, envelopes for those <laughs> and so what I want to do is is uh, make some of those cards and uh, donate those um, so that they can go to uh, to uh, brighten someone's day and make them feel you know cared for loved important and all of those things so um, I know this is kind of outside of my normal uh, plein air painting boundaries but um, it's still you know it's it's a way that I can share my talents as an artist and at the same time you know there's a great opportunity here uh, to uh, give back to what my brother Ron is doing so all right so I will get set up here and uh, we'll paint something and we'll see uh, I don't paint a lot in watercolor but we'll see how this goes all right cool let's do it
All right, so that's exactly what I had in mind was, um, was just a very simple, um, very, a very simple landscape. Um, nothing super complicated, but um, I'm kind of liking what I did up here. So that looks kind of cool. It's nice, rich color. So, all right, so we'll put a little signature on this one and uh, move on, move on to another one. Okay, so uh, for the first one, I did it backwards, but no big deal. It opens up this way, so for the next one, I'm going to make sure I'm get, I get it going the right direction. Anyway, cool, so um, I'll paint another one. So I got the second one right anyway, and uh, at least it's folded the, the right way. Um, what a great way to practice clouds. It's like super cool. All right. Ron, uh, if you're watching, these are headed your way, plus more. And um, it's a really cool, uh, like I said earlier, it's a cool way to practice clouds. Uh, I enjoy these little watercolor paintings because they're so just quick and reactive. And um, but as always, um, thanks for checking out my video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and uh, share it if you like it. And um, I will catch you later.